Good day, welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experiences, my knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve along the way. So today I am really excited about this product review. It's the Plano Edge Tackle Storage Management System, a, a series of uh, Plano Edge. I chose the 3600s, that's the one I like. And I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you all about it. And it, a really great product I really really love it so before I get started like I always say please subscribe to my page hit that like button and uh, of course make some comments you know I love the comments so we have the Plano 3600 here now it's an entire series everything from crankbait storage to spinnerbait storage to uh, jigs it there's every once in a while you come across something in uh, hunting or fishing or whatever it is that you're into that the manufacturers really put their time into and they really made a quality product. That is this. It is. It surpasses any other tackle management storage that's out there. And if you're anything like me, I could be a slob in everything else that I do in life, but when it comes to tackle storage, I'm so meticulous. I want everything in order. I want it sleek. I want it clean. I, I just, I fish from a kayak, so you just need everything sleek and put away in its spot and easy to get to. And Plano, when they developed this edge, that's what they did. So, I'll give you a little history on Plano. We know that Plano has been sort of a, a staple for fishermen and sportsmen for a long time. Anything from a bow case to tackle storage and whatnot. And like I said, this is this is a great one. So as you can see, they, they stack nicely together. And to, to me, they look sexy. I don't know how a box can look sexy, but it looks sexy to me. They're sleek, they're easy, they're lightweight. Um, they have this great handle on it. If one just opens up like that. Super, super easy. And they have these um, perforated dividers. Now I only put two in this one. This is like soft plastic uh, stick baits worms that I have in here. But you can, this is what I made for my terminal tackle. So I'm gonna open it here. Um, I put a couple in that one too. Then this is, uh, what do I got in here? Uh, looks like swim baits, uh, soft plastic swim baits. Opens up easy. Now, as compared to what I've come off of, which was the the thirty seven hundred. You know, the, these are these are big. To, to me, they're bulky. I never thought they were bulky until I saw this. Now, these come in thirty seven hundreds. They come in. Uh, they have uh, ones for crankbaits that have these little sort of rubber mats with sticks with um, sort of oh, it's like sticks sticking up. And you just you just seat them in there, and the hooks don't even they they don't get tangled or anything like that. They have another one for jigs, where it's more like V's, and you put the jig heads in them. The only technology that hasn't changed is spinnerbait storage. It's still a big bulky box. You know, so we have these, we had these, and these were good until we saw these babies. So, you know, this is how we open them. We all open them. A lot of them had. A lot of them had three, you know, and they had the seal right here, the watertight seal. And then there was a lot of times they were almost pre made for you. So you had these ones were put in, and then you had to sort of cut these and break these and put them in, and you had a story. And you, you kind of just looked at whichever one you wanted for you, and you could you had to think about it kind of in the store or where you bought it online or, or whatnot. Um, Get that away. And then we had the other ones in the 37, which was, so this one's got a broken handle. Just the open box. You know, that worked great too. And Plano has the open box one. They call it the Flex Series. It only comes in the 3700. And what it comes with is, it's, it's an open box, and there's no configuration inside. And then they send you these dividers. Send you the dividers and all different configurations. So you can put like a long, a long one all the way across, 
or you could put like short ones or, or whatever you wanted. Um, to give you an idea of what they give you for dividers, um, so I bought, I bought six of these. So I have six. So there's three here, I got three up there, and I, that's really all I need for my kayak or when I go out and do a tournament or if I fish all day. Um, you're, for me, like I said, the kayak is having space. You know, so those big bulky ones, they're just obsolete now that I found these, uh, the 3600s. So each one of these comes with this. Oh, oh, dog here, that's not gonna work. So it comes with this. That's how many that they give you. To give you an idea, I've got six of them, and I, ha I still have this left over. So I wish I could find a, a purpose for these. You know, they're, they're, really, they're really sturdy. They're all pre-cut. Thank you for the thing open. They're all pre-cut. And they're, they're perforated. Now part of the, I guess you could say technology, or whoever designed these, I'm sure it was an engineer, they designed these sturdy and perforated for a reason. It's so the airflow can get through. And they designed this other piece of it. It's called the water wick, right here. It's a little piece that goes in <coughs> that has what's similar to uh, like what we find in boxes. It says do not eat on it and it just absorbs moisture. So that goes inside here. And we all know that like we're out fishing, it's a hot day, we get a little moisture in here. And then before you know it, we get condensation on the, on the lid. And then if we have hooks in there, we get rust on top of that. So it's, it, it may apply to your soft plastics, you're going to get some corrosion. But for your hooks, they say that all these cases are anti-rust, which is a game changer for anyone who, um, obviously we keep our, st our tackle stored in this in the off season too. And that's another thing I like about it. You know, in the off season, you just take them, you stack them up, you stick them in a corner somewhere or wherever you do it. And it, they're just neat and out of the way, ready for the next season, as opposed to those bigger bulky ones. So we have these, and they say that uh, on the manufacturer website <coughs> that if this gets um, too much moisture uh, and, or you feel that it's not working anymore, you can take this and put it in the oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. And then it will uh, dry it out again, and then it will work again. They say that, that this will last a lifetime. So that's, like I said, whoever thought about this is a genius for tackle storage. I mean, it, it revolutionizes what we know as tackle storage. And it, it, I'm so excited about it. I really love it. So to go into the box, before I get too far into it, um, they're sleek. Now, granted, this is the 3600. They're sleek. They're easy to hold. You can open it with one hand, which is excellent on a kayak. You know, there's, I don't, there's a lot of times I'm putting it on my lap, and then you have to unclip everything. This is just easy in, easy out. It has a clear lid, which, I mean, I mean someone thought of that. I, th I think that's excellent. It's really, really excellent. Clear lid. They say that they are, if, if you do get some corrosion or they start to stink, you can put them in the dishwasher, too. Um, there are a few people that put them in the dishwasher, and they said it did add um, a little bit of fog to the top, but otherwise everything worked fine because all, most of the moving parts are plastic. All right. Now, another thing that they thought of is this label right on the front here. Easily done with a dry erase marker. You know, so say whatever you're going to write, say, oh, what is this, worms? You know, so you can write worms. Worms. I wrote worms on it, right? And then if I want to change it or if I want to take it off, you know, you got the eraser here. It's dry erase comes right off. You can do, I mean, look, squiggle on it, you have it there. Now, I'm sure if you grab it a lot and everything, but the chances of you grabbing it right on that, not so much. You know, it's just another little added feature. So if you want to change your boxes, you want to reorganize them as we all do, you know, we're always changing the boxes and doing something with it. It's a great, great product. There are some 
reviews online that um, people say that they've used a Sharpie on this to make it a little more permanent, but then they say you, you really have to scrub it off. I personally don't see the need. I think that the, this works just fine. I mean, you don't even need the one with the little eraser on. You would use a tissue or a rag or something like that. But great, great, great product. Um, what else? The price. Not bad. They're 20 bucks a piece. They're $19.99. Not too bad. No? Excuse me. I got an itch. And I'm thirsty. So, the other thing I want to talk about was, I know it's a fishing, ideally for fishing, but they are... They, there's, there's one for terminal tackle. There's all different sizes. I think, I think for the first time, it, it goes well beyond fishing. Well beyond fishing. I think it, it goes as far as like a dry box. There's another one out there that's probably like this size, and that would be perfect for your keys, for your wallet, for your phone when you're out on your kayak or, or camping or anything that you're going to get wet. <coughs> Excuse me. I mentioned that it had the seal in here. The seal is even... I don't know if you can see how thick it is, and even the ridge that it goes on. It, mm. It's just better quality, better made. Um, the seals in the other ones, I mean, I can show you. Granted, these are old, I mean. So this has the seal right here, and then it falls into like a channel. See? I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying that it's been improved upon. So this has a seal, and then the bottom piece falls into the seal channel, which means that it, it creates pressure in between it. I think it better, better quality. I have a pool, and um, when summertime comes around, I got my pool open. I think I'm going to toss them in the pool and see if they actually float, and see if they're actually, and I'll take them hold them underwater, see if they're actually airtight. Uh, do a little review on top of that. So that's all I got for you. Please subscribe to the page, like the video, and I hope you like these as much as I do. I really, really love them. And they're sexy looking. They're, they're nice and sleek. You like that? Anyway, enjoy the video. Enjoy the review. Subscribe to the page. I'll see you guys later. Be well.